Hi everyone and welcome back to another specialist quiz. It's back, we've got a couple of very, very specialist specialist quizzes uh, to close out 2020 before we relaunch them properly next year. Uh, but this is a very, very special one to start, um, to start the end of the specialist quizzes for 2020. Um, this means a lot to me, this one. Um, as you know from the charities and stuff that we've been talking about, we're pleased to have linked up with BBC Radio 4's Christmas Appeal with St Martin in the Fields. Now, if you've been with us from the beginning, or at least you know very much into April, you'll know that I featured Connection at St Martin's charity. Uh, they're a homeless charity based in London, and they support rough sleeping people in Westminster to help them get back on their feet. And they did that with me. Um, I spent two years sleeping rough on the streets of London and they helped me and I we featured them on the quiz we supported them and raised some vi vital funds for them and every year uh, St Martin in the Fields are featured on the radio for Christmas Appeal uh, donations go to Connection at St Martin's and the Vickers Relief Fund um, and the Frontline Network as well now the Vickers Relief Fund, it's nationwide, um, you know, that will help with quick emergency grants for people who may find themselves about to be homeless or they're already on the streets and homeless themselves. So it's a great charity, especially with this time of year, it's a great charity to, to highlight and focus. So we're really pleased that the guys at Radio 4 asked us to put this together and to be able to put it out there. Uh, so it is a 20 question specialist quiz, but it's a bit of fun and i'm delighted now it's a bit awkward this because you'll see me in this shirt now and then there's like a costume change when in a, in a couple of minutes when i introduce my very special guest this evening uh for this for this specialist quiz um so i had the privilege of being interviewed a couple of months ago for the radio for christmas appeal um by an incredible comedian called hugh dennis and he then wanted to give up his time to come back and come on the quiz so I said well why not let's do something for BBC Radio 4 and they were happy to support it so here we are today so that's enough from me for now let's bring in the man himself and a quick costume change from myself ladies and gentlemen this is when I met Hugh Dennis and your quiz is coming up so yeah ladies and gentlemen the wonderful the incredibly talented <laughs> Mr Hugh Dennis thank you very much for joining us and giving up your time for the Radio 4 Christmas Appeal it's an absolute honour to have you here thank you well it's a delight to be here none of the adjectives you use there really actually applies to me I'd just like to make that clear but it is great it's great to be here and you're just recovering from your Guinness World Record yeah it, that was a that was a long long 35 hours but the incredible community behind us sending loads of messages and supporting it it was wonderful and you know raise another another great amount of money for for charity so um very very pleasing to to be able to do that um and again oh, well, really yeah. really pleased to be here again supporting you know the radio for christmas appeal i'm honored to speak to you um which i know it will be part of the appeal with an interview and you asked some great questions it was uh, it was an honor to be interviewed by you um i've, I've followed your work for, for many many years uh, my wife is especially a massive fan of Mock the Week um, and oh, constantly, right. constantly I see her watching the um, the clips of um, uh, the um, the end of the show and it's the gone out. The scenes we'd like to see. That's yeah. it, yeah. She's well, well, yeah. yeah. So she absolutely adores it. But yeah, so we've got, um, we've got two rounds for you. So I'm going to present the first round for you, ladies and gentlemen, this evening. And then Hugh has got a very special round for you this evening. <laughs> I, I know how much you love your connections round. So we've brought a connections round to one of our specialist quizzes. So I will make a start then with round one. So then round one for you this evening is, uh, I'm back in a costume change now. <laughs> so round one, um, see, I don't know about things about continuity. Anyway, round one, um, 10 random questions for you. A bit festive, here we go. Number one, which country donates a Christmas tree every year to London, proudly displayed in Trafalgar Square? So which country donates a Christmas tree every year to London, proudly displayed in Trafalgar Square? Question number two, where hosts the annual Thanksgiving Day Parade with massive floats through the city? So where hosts the annual Thanksgiving Day Parade with massive floats throughout the city? Question number three, which King of England was crowned on Christmas Day? 
So which King of England was crowned on Christmas Day? Uh, number four for you. Uh, who recorded the original song, Driving Home for Christmas? So who recorded the original song, Driving Home for Christmas? Uh, number five. Which European country started the tradition of exchanging gifts at Christmas? So which European country started the tradition of exchanging gifts at Christmas? Number six. Uh, which act has had the most Christmas number ones? So which act has had the most Christmas number ones? Hmm. Number seven, which Christmas movie features an ensemble cast including Hugh Grant, Liam Neeson, Emma Thompson and Keira Knightley? So which Christmas movie features an ensemble cast including Hugh Grant, Liam Neeson, Emma Thompson and Keira Knightley? Question number eight is multiple choice. In which year did the annual Radio for Christmas appeal begin? Was it 1927, 1937 or 1947? So in which year did the annual Radio for Christmas appeal begin? Was it 1927, 37 or 47? Question number nine, true or false? Uh, since, the, since that year, <laughs> nearly gave away the year then, but since that year, every Christmas appeal has supported St. Martin in the, in the field. So is that true or false? Since that year, Every Radio 4 Christmas Appeal has supported St. Martin in the field. And finally then from me, question number 10. And I may have already given you the answer if you were listening at the beginning, uh, but true or false? The Vickers Relief Fund supports people at risk or experience of being homeless across the UK. So true or false, the Vickers Relief Fund supports people at risk of or experience of being homeless across the UK. Okay, so it's time for round two and it's time for me to hand over to Mr. Hugh Dennis. So here are the questions to round two and thank you again for supporting the uh, Radio 4 Christmas Appeal. Question one. You may have got this from my introduction. This is a good test of how, how long your memory is. Uh, question one. Scenes we'd like to see is a popular segment in which comedy panel show? So scenes we'd like to see is a popular segment in which comedy panel show? Question two. What was the name of the father in the TV comedy, Outnumbered. So what was the name of the father in TV comedy, Outnumbered? Question three, which Northern airport became the subject of an ITV documentary in 2019? So which Northern airport became the subject of an ITV documentary in 2019. Question four, what was the name of the fictional supermarket in Sky One's comedy, Trolled? 
So what was the name, the actual name of the fictional supermarket in Sky One's comedy, Trollid? Question five. What is the name of the comedy panel show presented by Greg Davis that started on Dave and has just gone to Channel 4? So what's the name of the comedy panel show presented by Greg Davis that started on Dave and has just gone to Channel 4? Question five. No, not question five. Question six. I can't read. Uh, that's the problem. Question six. Which team play their games at the Emirates Stadium? So which team, which Premier League team play their games at the Emirates Stadium? Question seven. I've got to, I didn't write these questions. I've got to correct this one because it says, the Now Show was a popular radio comedy on which station? I'm going to rephrase that to, the Now Show is a popular radio comedy show. <laughs> On which station? Question eight. Stephen Fry was the first presenter of which intelligent, intelligent? Stephen Fry, I'll read that again. Something very peculiar going on. Stephen Fry was the first presenter of which intelligent TV show? Question 10. Which satirical adult puppet show recently made its return to television? So which satirical puppet show recently made its return to television? That's question nine. I've got to turn this over now, see if there's a question 10. Oh yeah, the question 10 is the obvious one. If I'd thought about this round, I would have known the question. And question 10 is what links them all together? So what links all those questions together? Thank you very much there, Hugh. Interesting connections around there. Hmm, I wonder what the connection could be. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so pre-recorded video specialist quizzes, you know the drill by now if you've watched many of these. Uh, so because it's pre-recorded, you can now go back and rewind, and see if there's some questions that you want to just double check um, and take some time maybe to put your answers down. So at this point, what I always say is it's time to pause the video uh, so you can make sure you're ready because when we come back we're going to give you the answers between myself and Hugh. So if you need some more time, if you want to think about things, if you want to swap your answer sheets over, pause the video now. Okay and welcome back. So hopefully you now should have all your answers ready to go and you're keen to know what your score is today. Let's find out. So round one was from me and question number one was which country donates a Christmas tree every year to London proudly displayed in Trafalgar Square and it's Norway. See Trafalgar Square is where St Martin in the Fields is and you can see it, see the Christmas tree from the steps. Number two, where hosts the annual Thanksgiving Day Parade with massive floats through the city? It is of course New York. Question number three, which King of England was crowned on Christmas Day? It was William the Conqueror. Hmm. William the Conqueror was crowned on Christmas Day. Number four, who recorded the original song Driving Home for Christmas? It was Chris Rea. Driving Home for Christmas. Uh, number five, which European country started the tradition of exchanging gifts in uh, Christmas? Uh, it was Italy. It was actually ancient Rome. Number six, which act has had the most Christmas number ones? It's the Beatles. The Beatles have secured the most Christmas number ones. Number seven, uh, which Christmas movie features an ensemble cast including Hugh Grant, Liam Neeson, uh, Emma Thompson and Keira Knightley? It is Love Actually. Number eight, in which year did the annual Radio 4 Christmas appeal begin? Was it 1927, 37 or 47? It was 1927. All the way back then, that's when the Christmas Radio 4 Christmas appeal first started. And number nine, true or false, so since uh, 1927, uh, every Christmas appeal has supported St. Martin in the field. That is true. So every, every Christmas appeal, Radio 4 Christmas appeal since 1927 has supported St. Martin in the field.
And finally, number 10, true or false, the Vickers Relief Fund supports people at risk or experience of being homeless around the UK. I mentioned this in my intro into the video, it is true. So even though they're based in central London, um, the Vickers Relief Fund will support with grants anyone across the country who's uh, either experiencing homeless or at risk of being homeless. It really is a nationwide appeal. So that's my 10 answers. Connections round. It's only fair. Let's bring back in Hugh. Hi, I'm back with the answers to question two, the connection round. So question one, question one, scenes we'd like to see is a popular segment in which comedy panel show? Mock the Week. Clearly a segment in Mock the Week because we were talking about it earlier. If you haven't got that right. Uh. Um, question two, what was the name of the father in Outnumbered? His name uh, was Pete uh, Brockman. Although actually that is true from think about series three onwards he didn't have a they didn't have a surname until uh series three at all oh uh, the question three was which northern airport became the subject of an itv documentary in 2019 and the answer was leeds bradford in a documentary called imaginatively yorkshire airport the name of the fictional supermarket in trolley this was question four what was the name of the fictional supermarket based um you know, in the Sky One show, Trolled, and the answer is Valco. Question five was, what's the name of the comedy panel show hosted by Greg Davis, which has just gone from Dave to Channel 4, and that is, of course, Taskmaster, the fabulous Taskmaster. Um, question six, which team play their games at the Emirates Stadium? All together now, Arsenal, the mighty Arsenal, the mighty Gooners, that's where they play. Um, Question seven, the Now Show is a popular radio comedy show on BBC Radio 4, although I imagine you'll get away just with Radio 4. I'm not in charge of the answers. Don't write text, WhatsApp or anything. I'm merely reading these out. Um, question eight, Stephen Fry was the first presenter of QI, clearly, and then uh, Sandy Toxie uh, took over. And the adult uh, puppet show, I'm not quite sure why it's adult in the question, that makes it sound it's a bit, something a bit rude about it, in a kind of sexy way. It's not, it's just satirical. Um, and it is of course, spitting image, spitting image. And finally, he said, turning the bit of paper around, what links them all together? And the answer is me, but uh, Hugh Dennis, in other words, because I was in all of them, uh, albeit briefly. I. Um, yeah, Mock the Week I was in. I was the voice of Yorkshire Airport. Not the actual voice you hear in the airport, but just the voice of the narration of it, yeah. I was in one episode of Trolled. I did Taskmaster. Um, didn't come last, nearly last, uh, but didn't come last. Uh, Arsenal fan, I'm in the Now show. I've been on QI. <laughs> um, and I used to do voices on Spitting Image for a selection of politicians who have now either retired or died. Um, and what links them all together, of course, is the final answer, which I don't need to give again, but it is, of course, uh, me. So I'm the answer to that one as well. Anyway, it's been a delight. I'm sorry I'm rambling. Um, have a lovely rest of your evening. And, and thank you, Jay. No, thank you, Hugh. That was absolutely perfect. Thank you so much for giving up your time, not just for, for me and the quiz and our team here, but for everything you're doing for the Radio 4 Pill. It's incredible. So thank you very much. You're very kind. And I'm thinking I must get some kind of backdrop a bit like yours there. <laughs> Where did you get that from? The virtual pub quiz or ritual pub quiz, as it says, because you can't actually see the VI. I think your point. <laughs> what the of me, <laughs> no, honestly, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. You are welcome. See you again. Have a good Christmas, everyone. So again, thank you massively there to Hugh Dennis. Um, it's just an absolute delight uh, to talk to and to give up his time for the Radio 4 Christmas appeal. Um, and that's it. So thank you very much. How did you get on today? 20 questions, um, sort of slightly different questions, a few in there about the appeal and an incredible connections around there about uh, Mr. Hugh Dennis. Uh, Lazy said in there he didn't write them. I wrote them for him. 
um, and pretty much got all my facts right there just about um, with those. Um, but yeah, how did you get on? Let us know as always in the comments below or across all of our social media. It's been up on screen through most of uh, throughout most of the quiz. Um, if you can support the Radio 4 Christmas Appeal, please do. Um, it's a charity that is massively a, a big, big part of my life. Um, the link, as always, is down in the description below. Um, if you can support them in any way, thank you very much. Um, if not, don't worry. Uh, we know what the situation that everyone is in at the moment. But if you can, thank you. Um, and that's it from me. Uh, there is another specialist quiz coming soon, um, more to follow across all of our social media. Um, and as always, thank you so much for all of your support, for your messages, for your comments, just for the incredible community that we've got. This time of year, community is so important and it's great that we've got an incredible community across all of our social media platforms. So thank you from me to you. Take care and stay safe.